Hello, so we are back. Wednesday, we still locked down. But I'm just, uh, you know, back to do some jobs. This job, and it's, it's not old, it's like from 20 October. I don't remember anything about this job. So, so the chip arrived. Looks like I wrote the chip on the, I wrote the chip on the, on the receipt. The chip is here. Well, my memory is so bad, I don't remember anything about this laptop. So we have to diagnose again the laptop. I just want to find the reason why I did order this chip and fix it, yeah? Because the chip is right there, there is no point to test it. Let's open. Let's open this and test. And see what did, why, why I ordered that chip. But it's like, you know, it's blank, it's empty, I don't remember anything about this laptop. The shop is still closed, well, we are doing, um, the owner is doing, uh, you know, uh, we redecorate, uh, they change everything here. Yeah. So it would be a nice, it's, it's a good time for something like that, you know, because it's locked down, you can't have the shop open. But basically on this shop was no, nothing changed like over eight years. So it's about time. Well, let's see what can be wrong with this one. This is a nice Asus laptop. It's a small one. It's a Asus model E410M. Okay, this is a nice board. Yeah, now I remember the laptop. Hmm. Now I remember. Yes, let me take out the let me take out the heatsink. Yeah, yeah. Now I remember. So I found a blow up truck. I think. Yeah. Now I remember the laptop. Let's see together. No, not blow up truck. Oh, now I remember. So I made a video and I deleted. One second, let me check. Let me find the video. Ah. No, I delete all my videos. Uh, and I said, you know what? I, I made a I made a video. It was part one. And I said, when the chip will come back, I'll do part two. But I deleted. After a while, I'm deleting the videos. No point to be here on this computer. Uh, so what happened here? Oh, sorry, microscope. Yeah, now I remember. So the burn, uh, the the board get the get burned, you know, inside the layers. So that's what happened here. So there, yeah? 
So I clean the, the, the I clean whatever I could clean. Yeah. And I uh, I fill it with with uh, with uh, with rosin. Yeah, that's rosin. You can see it's getting cracked. Yeah, that's rosin. Just to isolate everything. So this is the 19 volt shrug. The 90 volts was going here on some chip. Yeah, here was a chip. I here we have a solder bubble. I haven't seen this one. Um, I will check after. So I have a chip, yeah, which most likely was uh, was cutting down the power, the 19 volts power from the screen, yeah. So here we have the 19 volts. Here we have a chip with two pins here and three pins here. And from this pin of the chip was coming here a fuse and on the screen connector. Look how many pins we have on the 19 volts. Yeah. So uh, yeah, so I jump over that chip and over this truck. I jump with a with a truck straight from here to the screen. Yeah. But yeah, I remember. So also the super IO is dead. From a simple reason, probably because probably one of these truck goes to the super IO and that killed him. And that's the super IO. Oh, look, has a hole on it. Okay, you see, that's a hole on the super IO. That means it's blow up. Yeah, the so our chip is dead 100% is dead. Or maybe I check for short and actually it is a shorter. Yeah, we have a bias chip. Uh, let me come with 3 volts with the power supply, let's see. 3.2, that's fine. Ground, and plus on the last pin of the bias chip. And it's taking 700 milliamps, check on the, on the, on the screen, 800 milliamps. Where do you think 800 milliamps are going on, on the 3.3 volts power rail? is getting warm the super is getting warm yeah so let's quickly replace that chip hmm? what do you think and hopefully it will work because uh, keep in mind we have a chip missing from the from that connection the connection with the screen So we use some captain tape here. The chip position is okay. Let's use some flux. Flux is good. Let's get the hot air, probably 500 degrees. Full temperature just to take the chip out. The battery is not connected, good. So all we have to do now is to get the chip out. So the chip it is out, okay, that's the chip was not that hard okay so everything looks fine let's get the new chip and try to solder the new chip back Will be easy. Yeah, so the chip position must be like that. Now 
Now this is very important to get right the position, the chip position, yeah? So the chip position is right. Hopefully he will not run away. Wait, I need a small nozzle. Hmm. Where is my small nozzle? Okay, found it. Found it. Okay. Same story, 500 degrees, less air. Let's see, half air. Okay. Now let's go back to the chip, yeah? And let's push the chip down. Yeah. And now let's try to solder the pins. It should be a straightforward job. Okay, it's running away on that side. And it's running away on this side. <laughs> Why? Why? Okay, the chip is fine here. Yeah? One more time. Here. 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 And here. You know, I can see a few pins are lifted. Maybe you can't see them, but I can see them. Uh, no, really. It looks like every pin is soldered on place. No? This one it is solder, solder. No, we are fine. We are ready. Yeah? Let's test it. Let's see if it's working. Okay, now I know I have his charger on my, on my, uh, on my desk, on my draw. Yes. Ready? Let's plug the charger. Yeah. Let's plug the battery. Plug the charger. And... power button and we have light on the power button and the laptop is coming on <laughs> so the nice part which one is the nice part the nice part is we tricked 
the manufacturer design and we remove that chip you know that chip which is cutting down the voltage from uh, from the screen mouse is working keyboard is working everything Wi-Fi is working everything is working fine yeah <laughs> I'm happy I fixed it but you understand so obviously that chip this one is there for a reason <laughs> yeah no one will, uh, will use components with no reason so one more time here three pins here and two pins here was a small chip like this okay but only with five pins two here three here obviously you have the input 19 volts here you have the output 19 volts here which is going straight to the screen connector so that's obvious that's what he's doing he's switching on and off the 19 volts of the screen but also you know a chip like this can do a different like let's say generating a uh, voltage let's say i have 19 here he's taking 19 out and he's taking 5 volts on one of these pins which is essential and he's not working without that chip so in this case in this case it worked yeah you have like you have like a case like l let me explain one second no sleep on sleep it all goes off it, the light it all goes off um but if you've seen the new laptops, when it's something like that, let me power up again. So we have the, the logo. When you have something like that, the screen goes blank. You understand? So ours, I don't know. It's, it's from somehow it's cutting down the, the, the backlight quite fast. Yeah? So I'll leave you now, thank you for watching, like and subscribe if you like the video, and see you on the next, next one, yeah, I'm going back to lockdown, okay, bye.